people were moved out of their cars and 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 put in a separate location behind trees and hills that that did happen. Now, this was a confusing and terrifying experience for drivers on the turnpike cut behind law enforcement as bullets flew from both sides. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke with some drivers who were evacuated from their cars to avoid the gunfire. Several cars say they were stuck on the Turner Turnpike during this active shooter situation. They say they weren't sure what was going on until they heard gunshots ring out. Troopers, officers and deputies all responded to an active shooter situation with an armed robbery suspect from Sedona, Arizona. It's crazy because they have like the entire police force here almost. This video from the Turner Turnpike cam shows traffic steadily flowing. You can also see a black SUV flying by with flashing lights and sirens from Oklahoma Highway Patrol and Oklahoma City Police following. I guess the perpetrator's vehicle passes me on the shoulder doing a hundred and I don't know what. He blew by me. That scared the crap out of me. Troopers say the suspect shot out his back window several times, hitting a trooper's windshield and leaving bullets in his car. It can be very dangerous when you have, you know, someone who's who's shooting out from a moving vehicle and there's other road uh, cars on the roadway and we're very fortunate that no citizens were injured during uh, the course of this pursuit and at the end of it. Well, it's like I just don't understand like what a person like that thinks. Now we've been in a standoff forever. Like there's not going to be a good outcome. OHP advised folks close to the scene to move to a safer place. Many officers got those people out of vehicles and moved them out of their vehicles over hills and things like that. The turnpike was also closed down and armored vehicles were also used to block cars from the standoff. Yeah, I was not planning on this today at all. Troopers tell us the suspect was shot and killed after he returned fire on law enforcement and there were no other injuries. Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.